Thanks for clicking on this video. Um, first of all, sorry if I'm breathing into the mic. Um, this microphone doesn't have a windscreen, so bear with me. Um, today I'm going to show you a few really neat batch file tricks um, that I think are pretty cool and they could come in handy. Um, I've already made these all ahead of time. Uh, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to post all these codes that I use in my blog. I'll link up my blog on the side. You guys can check it out and uh, follow along. I'm just going to do one batch file and uh, show you how it's done. And then you guys can do it all yourself because um, every single one of them is the same. Uh, the one I'm going to show you is called Junk. Now, a lot of people think it's a virus, but it's not. Um, here's the code for it. Um, just copy it from my blog into Notepad. Now, Notepad is the most basic text editor. That's why I'm using it. When you save it, this is the most important part. I already have this folder for it. Name it whatever. I'll just say junk. Dot B-A-T. That's the most important part. Dot B-A-T uh, will give the little uh, icon gears so you know it's not a regular text document. So you save it. And um, I'm going to go into the folder that I saved it to. Now you notice this isn't a regular text document because it's got the gears on it. Basically what this junk batch file does is it creates a bunch of useless empty icons and files on your desktop. So like you could rename it to like open this and put it on your friend's desktop. Pull open it up and it'll create junk icons everywhere. Um, and it's kind of a pain to delete. Actually, I'll show you how it works. For the sake of the tutorial, I'll go ahead and uh, do this. Alright, now that was only running for like a couple seconds, and look what it did. Like, tons of icons appeared. You do that to your friend, he'll be ticked off, he won't know what's happening, it'll be hilarious. And he has to go back and delete all this. That's just the one batch file. Like I said, there's a bunch out there. I'll post the codes for them on my blog. You, you make all of them the same as the one I just did. There's an alarm, which I don't think works on Vista. I think it's just XP, but um, basically it just like sets off uh, an alarm on your speakers. And um, there's a fork bomb, which that one's actually considered a virus because uh, what it does is it's on echo. So it opens up the command prompt over and over and over again. Like I ran it for like five seconds and it opened the command prompt like a thousand times. So if you do that to a really slow computer and let it run for hours, it's gonna crash the computer. This one is a, a really basic one. It formats a disk, which uh, really is kind of useless. But uh, if you put in a disk, run that, it's going to format it and clear all the data off the disk. This is an info tracker. Um, you put this on a USB, plug the USB into the computer, run this info tracker. It's going to create a text document that gives the name of the computer, the time, um, the date, that sort of thing. I think it can come in handy sometimes. I already showed you the junk one. This one's a network messenger. Um, it comes in handy if you have a hard wire connection. You can run that and uh, message uh, people on the network at school or at your house or whatever. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'll post all these on my blog so you guys can get them all. Uh, they're really easy to do. They're a lot of fun. I've always really liked batch files. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to youtube.com slash collabable. Thanks, guys.